Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. This is Umaira Said, lecturer, English Times Institute. Today we are going to start with the lecture number 8 of the communication skills. And the topic today of the discussion is job application. What is application? You all are familiar since your childhood, like you have written so many applications. Application for the sick leave, for the urgent piece of work, for the fees concession, for the library fees and so many others application as well. But now you have grown up, now your demands and your choices have been different as well and now your writing of application and methodology will be different as well. If I again induce and incorporate it, an idea of communication is to communicate your share ideas, thoughts, emotions and the feelings. And sending an application is a kind of an, a request. Application means you request someone, you request something for to achieve or attain something. Correspondence plays very important role. After completion your degree, the most important steps which you have to uh, cover up is to get the good position for which you have been struggling for since your childhood. Now it is the time to repay your parents in the form of your salaries. So job is most important thing. Many of the students say, man, I need a job, but actually the job is. Let me tell you in a very simple way that job is the jail of bosses and everyone is ready to imprison him or herself under the bosses. So now the time that how you may write a good application to imprison your freedom, your liberty, your schedule under the boss and let us discuss and explore that what is application. Application means you are requesting not to job, to get the job, you know, you are the students of uh, computer and after your completion degree many of you will start running your own business, many of have their own businesses as well. But many of you will go for the competition job and many of you will search out for the job in some private sector. No one is offering you the job in the plate. There will be so many other candidates who are in, who are more competent if I might say uh, more than you, then how you will be stand among the, that competition. Only the piece of paper cannot justify your uh, mental capabilities, I believe. It is your self confidence, your self belief, your grip over the knowledge helps you a lot to secure your position among the rest of the candidates. Application can be the one step. If you are writing an a good application does not mean that now your position is secure. The most important thing is that how you justify yourself in front of the employer. Now there are two types of the applications dear students, solicited and the unsolicited application. I said it invited application and uninvited application. Pick out your pencil and the papers to note down some important points. Solicited application means that when an organization invited some application from the candidates and uh, they just write down on the newspaper in a form of advertisement that we that these positions are vacant in our institutes or in our organization. So we need these positions with the experience of this, with the age gap of this and this kind of an experience is required. You are the fresh graduates, what you would do? No, uh, you won't respond. Now the next advertisement you see in the dawn or in any other newspaper that some of the manufacturers required some computer uh, department vacant seats. So you would apply and they are welcoming the fresh graduates. Now it's the high time to apply there. Because if you apply among the uh, experienced ones, then your experience will be zero. But those students who are sharp, who have been working and doing different assignments during their educational career, definitely they would have an, a hidden experience of two or the three years, not the, on the onboard experience but the offload experience. What is onboard and offload? My dear students, I used to create my own terminologies and all of you are very familiar. So that is why I recommend every of you 
to keep on working regarding your uh, degree during your education because it would help you after completion because uh, after completion you will be in the competition and and it would waste your more and more precious years in the searching of good job so start working since uh, since your degree is completed so this is the invited application unsolicited is an uninvited application after passing out from the college with the degree in hand you just print out all take the photocopies of your documents may prepare a cv and then just move from the one door of an institute to another door and just they drop your cv and the documents there that i recently completed my uh, masters in computer science and now i have an ex hidden experience of two years and if there is any vacant position in your institute you may uh, i am ready to serve you but my dear student this is not only the way of dropping an application only and securing the job two important thing you must keep in mind one is that how you have to convince your employer and how to create a desire many of you are will be familiar with the one of uh, the short story in your first year lesson where there was a court acrobat and he created the position of uh, of uh, of a uh, uh, royal acrobat in uh, in some court the reason was the determination and your opportunity many of you are opportunities that whenever we get opportunity we will go for the job but never run after the opportunity you will not get your opportunity in this cruel world you have to be the determinant many of you will be familiar with the story try try again where there was a one insect who was climbing on the wall and then fall climbing on the wall and then fall and at, la at last uh, the aunt uh, start walking on the wall so it means that you have to try it all uh, in your life to get a good position and never be be have an approach of rabbit approach in your life runs like a tortoise approach if you will move into this world with the tortoise approach you will get your desired job so these were the two types of an application and the two things which i was discussing was to create a desire how would you create a desire suppose with an unsolicited application you just go to one of the institute or in the private sector and you just met with the director and you just Uh, convince him with your with your fresh knowledge with the grip of your words that that it transits his soul from here into somewhere else this is the way that how you convince other your confidence your sharpness your spoken skills your ability to cope over the arrest and make him realize that i am the fresh graduates and i have an ability to rule over the others because all of these are experience but i am coming up with the fresh knowledge so you must give me the chance so that i may boost up myself and give you the robust uh, with the robust energy i will give i will make your company something else because i know that what is happening in the emerging market so this is the way that how you would convince your employer the second is to create a desire you may say never say sir never beg for your job never beg for your job many of the students are usually rejected because they think that if they will beg in front of the employer they will get the job they think that the people are emotionally weak no no one is emotionally weak when you are on the boss seat you are on the seat of the throne and never no one will uh, your tears will not melt anyone's heart keep it in mind because if you if you will cry in front of your mother her heart will be melted but the boss heart will never be melted so never beg for the job create a desire convince him create a desire stimulate with your presence make him realize that you are something something and you are above else who are sitting outside and waiting for the queue this energy is required and how would you get this energy when you will have a grip over your subject if he asks something you just give him an answer that he doesn't know it doesn't mean that you are that you just exaggerated your answer no just give him an answer that he realize yes you have an a spark and you have an energy you are the sparkling person who is do is deserving for this job so this is the way of getting and creating a desire in other person there are so many opening sentences and the closing sentences which are very much necessary in uh, writing in your application so write down one of the sentence like if you are writing an application solicited application which is an invited application your opening sentence in the application would be 
like uh, sir with the reference of newspaper uh, uh, 26 6 2020 i have come to know that there is a position vacant for an assistant manager in your organization and i would like to offer up my services for the said post okay this was the first paragraph the next will be now come up with the pyramid your application will be like a pyramid the first paragraph will be based on your intro lines these lines will be based on your qualification these lines will be based on your experiences and these lines will be based on your references on the intro i have said you and i have told you about the life school if your application is unsolicited your introduction will be sir my name is this let me give you my example sir i am umaira said recently completed my uh, mphil in english literature and i want to offer my services for the, in your organization or in your institute for the post of english lecturer i have an experience of 7 years and etc and if they need some experience your all your experiences will be mentioned with the name of the company and the institute and the experiences in your cv so just mention the number that i have an experience of working in this organization for 5 years 4 years years or, or collectively accumulatively you said that i have an experience of 2 or 4 years this is for the uh, uh, solicited and unsolicited but if you are if you are fresh graduates no need to get embarrassed be confident and said that my name is this i recently completed my masters and bs in computer science i am a fresh graduate but i have an experience of working in two or uh, three or uh, three institute um, as uh, like i have i have done an internship or two or three institutes and i have uh, so my reference is this that i uh, that you may ask me and i don't have any reference but if you have a reference so you may quote your references over here but i think that nowadays the references are very much important but if you get any reference of your of your previous boss or if your teacher or wherever whatever else you have so do quote your references here so this is the solicited and unsolicited application writing uh, pyramid so let, let's come that how to write an application so dear students i have mentioned it before as well that this is a plain paper here you would write your own address your own address will be mentioned here and here come the inside address what is the inside address the address of the company you are applying for and this type of the application is particularly for the solicited not for the unsolicited in the because you are posting your application you are posting your cv then your inside address will be for this solicited application but for unsolicited application no inside address is required then come the subject student the subject is the crux and you may say the whole of the information is mentioned here the subject means that it must be very important you may write application for the post of computer instructor for the computer science teacher for the post of uh, assistant manager and there are so many things which you may write but the subject should be very much catchy very captivated very sparkling then come the salutation salutation means that you may have to address or person it may be dear sir dear ma'am and if you come to know that there are two or the three bosses here two or three persons are running this you may write dear sirs and if you have no idea the gender you may write sir and ma'am and then without having like how are you i am fine no these are the traditional conventional sent sentences and in your um, uh, professional life and in the professional writing these sentences are outdated you may not write that uh, from here this salutation will be dear sir or the dear ma'am and you will start writing this again i am repeating for the solicited application your sentences will be with the reference of this newspaper and if you are writing for the unsolicited application your sentences will be that i have that my name is it and i am applying for the post of this and then this pyramid will be quoted in whole of your application if you want to attach your cv if you want to attach an additional documents or the photocopy documents do mention at the end of the page that these pages are attached with this application then at the end of the sentence 
you don't write your loving your sweet or your uh, your uh, affectionately you are not under the affection of someone so the sentence truly would be conclusion will be yours truly concluding sentence may be that promptly waiting for your response or i shall be waiting for your response or it may be that i hope that after measuring up my qualification or scaling up my qualification you would consider me for the interview so these are some uh, some uh, closing sentences which may give a good impression but few of the sentences opening and uh, closing sentences i will provide the screenshots on your whatsapp group so this uh, writing on application is an art and you know this art all sometimes convince and give a good impression and i have uh, learned somewhere that the first impression is always the last impression so try to make your first impression like you put the first impression in the interview uh, in the writing you must have to give your the best impression to your institute and the organization so this was the all for today uh, inshallah come up with the lecture number 9 with the new topic take care allah hafiz